ANCC certification. The ANCC is the American Nurses Credentialing Center. The ANCC provides certification recognized across the United States. So if you were interested in getting certified in certain nursing professions, you could take one of the exams with the ANCC and be certified that way. And these credentials are recognized by employers across the United States. So this is like a standardized form of nursing testing. So if you're interested in becoming a certified nurse of some sort, you will most likely be taking one of these exams. Now, there are several different exams. There are 12 types of nurse practitioner exams. There are 10 types of clinical nurse specialist exams and 25 other types of nursing specialties. So there are a variety of tests and you would pick a specific one that you wanted to take to focus on what your interest was in nursing. But once you have this certification from the ANCC, it's going to open more doors for you in the future. Um, employers would recognize this and see that you were very serious about what you were doing and that you had the knowledge and skills necessary to pass one of these certification exams, which would make you a more valuable employee to them. The cost for these tests. If you are a member of the American Nursing Association, then you will pay a member price of $270 per exam. If you are a non-member, it's $395 per exam. Within these fees is a $140 non-refundable administration fee. So these are your basic costs for each exam. Now, you may find a special where if you do a certain um, activity on the website or you respond from a certain email, you may get a lower cost for your exam. But these are the basic costs. And if for some reason you had to cancel an exam, you would probably be able to get some of your money back, but there's always going to be that $140 non refundable fee. So even if you did decide you didn't want to take an exam and backed out, you would lose that $140. So make sure when you sign up, you're ready to take the test. Scheduling your exam. If you decide you feel ready to take an exam, you want to get one set up, you want to pick the right one for you, you're going to register for a specific test on the ANCC website. The ANCC website will list all of these different tests specifically that you can take for certification. After approximately six weeks, you will receive an eligibility notice. So when you register, you're basically applying to take the test. You don't just sign up right there. Then after six weeks, you'll receive this eligibility notice. So that means they've received your application and they're telling you whether you are eligible to take the test or not. You will have had to have some schooling, some education and practice in nursing before you can take these certification exams. So your eligibility will have to be checked before you can just schedule the test. So assuming you receive a notice saying you are eligible for the exam of your choice, you'll schedule your test within 90 days at a Prometric Testing Center. And it's important that you do this within 90 days because after that 90 day period, your application and eligibility is gone. You would have to send in another application, wait another six weeks to hear about your eligibility before you take a test. You will have to schedule it with a Prometric Testing Center via the Prometric Testing website. And these are just testing centers that have the same standardized rules that certain certified exams like their tests to be conducted under. So you can find Prometric testing centers all across the United States. So you'll find the one closest to you and schedule your test. Now you want to do this as soon as possible, the sooner the better, because if you wait until the last minute, closer to the end of that 90 days, you may not get a testing center or time slot that you like. And if you aren't at the most comfortable place during the most comfortable time, you may not do as well on your test. You may be stressed about other things that you have going on or how far you have to drive back to get to your house because you had to go so far out of your way to the testing center. 
If you schedule early, you'll have a much better chance of getting the center and the time that you want. So schedule your exam as soon as possible after you get your eligibility notice. So once you've scheduled your exam, what to expect at the testing center? Remember, it's going to be a prometric testing center. And what that means, or at least some of the policies in place there, are that this is a closed book testing center, which means you can have no personal items, electronics, etc. You will not be able to bring in your own pen or pencil or paper, no cell phone, no bags. You'll leave all that outside of the testing room. Once inside, anything you need will be provided by the testing center. You must also sign a confidentiality agreement. And this is going to be saying that you will keep the contents of the test confidential. You won't tell anyone else about the questions on the test. You won't talk about how you think you did on specific ones, giving out specific information. Um, everyone should be taking this test in a fair way. So if you go out and tell people exactly what questions were on your test, then that may give them a little bit of an edge, which wouldn't really be fair. And so you sign this confidentiality confidentiality agreement saying you will not discuss the contents of the test after leaving the center. Okay, now after you know what to expect at the testing center, you need to know what to expect of scoring on these exams. The ANCC certification test practice criterion referenced scoring. This means everyone's measured by the same criteria. You aren't going to be judged against other testers at the same time. It isn't like all the people who tested are going to be ranked 1 through 25 and the top 5 pass and everyone else fails. That's not how these tests work. These are criterion referenced. There's a total number of points and you must earn a minimum of so many points to pass the test. All 25 people could pass, all 25 people could fail within a group if they pass or fail these standards for meeting the minimum score. So, a minimum score is required to pass, but you don't necessarily have to beat out any other test takers to pass. You must score 350 out of 500 points. So, you must earn 350 points out of 500 total um, from scored questions and your questions aren't all going to be worth the same amount. There may be some that are worth a couple points, some that are just worth one point because not everyone's going to have the same questions, not everyone's going to have the same number of questions, but all in all you'll have the opportunity to earn 500 points total and you must earn at least 350 points to pass the test. So you will have 150 to 175 questions that count. And then you will have 25 pilot questions that do not count. So you have at least 150 questions, as many as 175, to earn those 500 points from. There will also be 25 questions in there that don't count. You won't know which ones those are. They're pilot questions. They tell the test makers how students will do on those particular questions. If it's too easy, if it's too hard, which ones people struggled with, which ones everyone were, was getting right. And so you won't know which ones those are. You just need to do your best on all the questions and assume they're all for credit. There is no penalty for guessing. You should not leave any questions blank on this test. But you can't go backward. So don't skip some, assuming you'll be able to go back to the, at the end and fill in the ones you missed. You must move from start to finish without going backward. So don't take too much time on one question, but make sure you answer each of the questions. You want to make sure that you get through the whole test, um, because if you leave questions unanswered, you know you didn't get them right. But if you at least guess on some you're unsure of, you might get those right and get those last couple of points you need to pass. Your results. Results are just given on a pass-fail basis. If you get 350 points, you pass. If you get 495 points, you pass. Y'all both, two students having that same, uh, having a 350 and having a 495 would both get the certification of pass. It's not, um, you don't get a higher score or some higher certification for getting a higher grade 
on this test. So it's just going to be given as pass-fail. Either you get your certification or you don't. So first let's look at if you fail. Hopefully this doesn't happen, but if you do, you receive feedback for each category on your test. So for each type of skill or knowledge, um, each category on your test, you'll receive feedback and it'll say whether you did low, medium, or high for each category. Low meaning you didn't meet the minimum number of points for that section, you didn't have as much knowledge about that section as you should have. Medium meaning you're right there on target, you have an adequate knowledge. High meaning you have an above average knowledge in this particular category. So you do get feedback so you know where you need to work on things for the next test. If you fail, you can retake the exam after 60 days have passed. So you must wait 60 days before you can even try to take the test again. But you must register again for the exam with ANCC, which means you come back, you apply, you get your eligibility notice, then you register at a Prometric Testing Center. So it's a long process if you have to do this again. And you cannot take more than three exams within a 12-month period. So there are some limitations there. So what you should do is make sure that you prepare well enough that you don't need to take the test a second time, since it is a lot of work to go back and do this over. Now, if you pass, your certification begins on testing day. The day you tested, the day you passed, that's the day your certification starts. Now, Mometrics, provides some great study guides and flashcards to help you get prepared for any of your ANCC certification tests. There are a lot of good study materials on the MoMetrics website. If you go to http colon slash backslash www.momedia.com slash ANCC, you will see all the different materials that are available to help you pass your ANCC certification tests. They list specific test secrets that you might find there. They list what kind of tricky problems that the test makers throw in there. And they help you not just learn more about the knowledge that you need for the test, but how to actually take the test. Instead of teaching just the material, which you should already know, they're teaching you how to pass this test so you can get through this certification the first time.